I wanted to talk to you about our night together. Have you ever walked to the very edge of a great precipice and shuddered at how easy it would be to step into the void? Ever since Elminster told me of Mistress' expectations of me, it felt like I've been walking along such a cliff face. The great drop to nothingness never out of my sight. But you... You led me away from the edge. Without your words, your touch, I fear I would have sought purpose and solace in that void. You reminded me what living can feel like. Well, generosity is always a noble virtue, whether it be in the streets, with the charity box, or betwixt the sheets. Besides, given my propensity towards verbosity, surely can't be a surprise that I have a practiced tongue. I hope the end is much farther away than I had suspected. I hope that night meant as much to you as it did to me. And I hope we all have more time together. Together. Alone. I see. Well, fine is... fine. Nobody weeps because the weather is fine. No monarchs were overthrown because their ruling was fine. No artworks were burned because they were not masterpieces, but merely... fine. The dignified thing for me to say is, no, of course not. Forthrightness before all. But honestly, yes. Would have rather you lied. I'm just a man. An imperfect one with needs, wants, and flaws by the bushel fragile vessel in which to place potentially world-ending power. Perhaps it would be better to not shake such a vessel. Hmm. Forgive me. These were already trying times before Elminster delivered his missive. Now, for me at least, they are potentially end times. Is that so? Well, fine. Oh, well, I hope I didn't make too much of an ass of myself just now. I'll see that there is indeed more to come. Won't betide anyone who tries to stop me. There's nothing that would give me greater pleasure. <laughs>